taking it for Rutgers and McLeod shut there. Trying to will this Hawkeye crew on. It'll be a touchdown. Pass over a shot from Nizel. Takes a shot in. Yeah. The Hawkeyes get on the board. On to Nizel with a fantastic rocket into the bottom left corner. We are all tied up at one. Rutgers did not have any penalty corners in the first. Teed up for Cuneo and off the ricochet. It's a goal. So she knows that her offensive player is going to come in and try to deflect that into the goal. So that was a, a key set play that they've been practicing all week long. One, two, and a flick into the top. Holly, Birch, back, shot, yes! Iowa scores, tie game. Loki Stribos goes top shelf on Natalie Dalton who sprawled out expecting an outside shot, and instead Strybos connects, and we are tied at two. Shannon Daly weaving her way through traffic in a whistle. She gets right back to it in the circle. That was a great play and a great shot. It started off with a football and a really quick self-start. Um, on the ball. Now looking for McGuire inside the circle. Has to drive through a heavy defense there. Pass back out to Cabano. A shot and a goal. Linda Cobano continues her hot streak. And the Terps lead 1-0. There's a pass into Cabano. Hard shot. It looks like it may have ricocheted off of Jen Bleakney and in. What can she do on the offensive side? She takes the shot. What a save by Markison. That was a great save by Markison. You could see that she was setting up her feet for the angle, and she just uses her left pad to bring that ball down. Up the field, and that gets away from Miami. Indiana has an opportunity. They're trying to put some pressure on the cross. And the shot on the goal, and that is good. Indiana gets on the board with their first goal of the day. Let's look at this. The cross was set up well. Very good play by the Hoosiers. Low shot. Leaking through. Helped in Northwestern. The equalizer. Mansfield with the last touch. It's a great corner execution and play from Northwestern. Lakin Berry getting that hit off and initially stopped by Frost, but Frost simply loses sight of the ball. And you see her body just comes up a little bit, gets the stop, and actually gets behind her stick. And I think the end of her stick actually knocked the ball loose and free. The pass goes up to LePage. Now Donrad, a shot from Donrad is saved away with the blocker by Arundel. A great shot from Donrad. Cena Schwinn down to Charlie. Pass in front. Ananias is down, and that's a goal. And that's how you beat Ananias. You pull her out, you pull the bull back, and you lift it over her. Persistence here by Ohio State. This is a smart team. They make great in-game adjustments. They're changing the way that they are shooting. comes Iowa past the strike. Stick collision, but the ball headed towards the circle. Murphy beats her to Marcus in, and the shot's good! A what big a goal! What a shot by Murphy there. What a play from the Hawkeyes. 
Maddie Murphy connects, she goes far corner and the Hawkeyes take the lead two to one. Nice pass there, Anna Simon working in the middle of the field. Finds her teammate. That shot is deflected and goes wide. And a fantastic job by Anna Speaker. outside, pass in front, and the shot, score! Austin Cuneo. Here's the pass in front, Austin, good stick move. Yep, that's Cuneo all the way. Zellner now. Zellner with the goal for the Hawkeyes. Sends the pass over to Madison McGuire, who's going to go on a run. Can she get there? She brings it inside the shooting circle, tries to get around the goalie, has an open net, a shot, and a goal! Madison McGuire scores for the Terps, and now it's 4-0 Maryland. We were just talking about how aggressive the UNH keepers have been off their line. This time, Woods cuts all the way out. McGuire able to beat her going to her forehand. Circle Iowa trying to put this game away. That will help the cause. Luca Strivo is just directing that ball inside the circle. Again, those circle entries are just fantastic. Maddie Murphy, we've seen her be so consistent and precise with that one touch on the stick or on the ball. Donrats in the circle. Her shot, and it's in. The Terps lead two to nothing. BB Donrat with a backhand shot into the top right corner of the cage. Shot on net deflection, goal still in front of the net. A great save by Arendelle, still fighting for it. Loose ball. And gets kicked out. Good defensive stand from Michigan State. Arendelle, nothing really she can do except stand and watch and keep saving. Look at that. Stick Oops, save that, yeah. That time. First to Sunderland, the shot, that's in. It's the hat trick for Sophie Sunderland, her third of this game. Iowa, an 11 0 lead. Bockers down the far sideline, gets by a defender. She's inside the 25 and all the way into the arc. She's past four defenders. Backhanded rip. Goal for Benta Bockers. She did it all by herself. It's her eighth goal of the season. The redshirt first year is a phenomenon. That is a, a 
rare situation for a goal against this Michigan defense. Up ahead and coming out to play it in front, knocked away beautifully there by Emily Howard, and she saved a goal there. And this is the fourth one in just a few minutes, and a diving hit off the stick of Kayla Reed. The pass and a diving hit. As they had been flicking the ball forward all day off of the restarts after goals, coming forward now and taking a shot and whipping it into the back of the net. Halsey just thought, well, I'm at the top of the arc, I might as well take a rip with no defender in her way, decided to go high with it. Now Maryland attacking on the far side, in towards the middle, approaching the circle. Went their way through the Iowa defense, and a goal for Maryland. Yeah, great attack there by Maryland, allowing themselves to bring it up the field for their first goal of the game. They didn't miss this time. Don't take calculated risks. Says, here's Maddie Murphy, looks up ahead, connects to Miller. Here's a good chance, and the Hawkeyes convert. It's Leah Zellner as Zellner scores her fourth goal of the season. The Hawkeyes score, and it's two to one. The Hawkeyes lead. the circle, the cross in, knocked away by the Iowa goalie, but it still goes into the back of the cage for a second Terrapin goal. They bring it up the field, get it off of that right side in towards the circle, and the ricochet off the goalie. Takes our pass, looking for Donrad, gets inside the circle. Donrad, a high shot, goes off the post and in. The first goal of the season for B.B. Donrat, and the Terps lead two to nothing. Donrat pumped up, she chipped it high, similar to what we saw McGuire do late in the first half, but that time the crossbar is the Terps' way. You can see what she does off ball. Here's the shot opportunity, score! The Scarlet Knights score on the penalty corner. You are one going to see this replay. Watch the pass by Austin Cunha. Whistle blown. Her shot saved by Frost. Great job by Noel Frost diving to her right to stop that shot. Ben to Bockers looking for her second goal of the day. She puts it in. So Glatz guessed the right corner, but Ben to Bockers stroke was just too fast. Every opportunity Iowa has had. Donley taking the penalty corner for Maryland. Pass it to Lisa Cavano. Cavano with the shot, knocked away by McGuire. Going to go out of play. Iowa's defense holds. Maryland with another opportunity there, looking to tack on the fourth goal, but they're turned away by the Hawkeye defense. Now the Turks threaten again. Clock still winding down. Bodil Coast, pass to Cavano. A last second shot. And there's Bond. Can she get it in? She shoots. She scores in the final seconds, Hannah Bond. That's the game winner for Maryland. Hannah Bond at the last second. Right as well to avoid the corner momentarily. Fernandez the corner, whips it in, it's stopped in front, still loose in there. Marcuson with the save. down by Brooke DeBerda. A lot of speed towards her right. Bleakney has it. Back to DeBerda. 
through the air. Now McGuire has it, and a hat trick for Madison McGuire, her third goal of the day on senior night, lighting it up for Maryland. They lead 4-0. Knights keep it. There's a redirection, and what a save by Grace McGuire. Grace is over to the near side post and sticks it away in her first collegiate start. Trying to scream and get the attention of the players, maybe the refs. Fernandez Laporte got a good look and she scores. She just snuck her way down the baseline there and just kind of sneaked the ball past the goalie. And she can save only a man down for two minutes. Great time for Ohio to put some pressure on. Here they come. Baker into the circle and a good shot and a save by Arundel. And another save by Arundel and it keeps it out somehow. Pressure's not over yet though. Comes out. Yeah, that's going to be an Ohio corner. That was two great back-to-back -back saves there for Jade Arundel. You see the... Freshman brought in by Jared Martin last year, and they all start and play a ton of minutes for Ohio State. And that one rolls past Frost. It's a goal for the Buckeyes. Oh my goodness! Wow! What great focus to pay attention to that ball and tip it in. It's regathered by Iowa. Birch with it right in front of Keelan Broker. Dish a shot, and that's in. Another Hawkeye goal. It looks like Katie Birch notches one. Iowa now a 3 0 lead. For Rutgers, stopped at the top of the circle. Passed over to the right side. A good give and go. And a pad save by Arno knocks it away. Good job from the Spartans, especially Jade Arno. It's an immaculate full stretch save there that time. Here's Birch, makes a move towards the front of the circle, leaves off a pass for Maddie Murphy. Birch again, Dalton way out of the net, and a chip in, and that finds the back of the cage. And that's Katie Birch's second goal today. Birch with the wraparound shot, being hounded near the top as Natalie Dalton left the goal quite a bit to challenge the shooter. Rolled into the circle. There's a shot. Oh! No that, goal. No, it is no, a goal. Is a I goal. beg your pardon. That was a great reverse stick shot. Textbook. She receives the ball, lets her wrap around, lets her go past her body on her reverse stick, and just. That would have been difficult for any goalie to try to save. Katie Birch being on the more attacking part of the midfield there in the regulation, so she's really going to be a presence here. They squeeze one in there and knock it home. Iowa championship goal. That didn't take long. Well, we've seen Iowa throughout the course of this game taking those balls end line and trying to execute inside the circle. This started from the very first pass. They came down. They just needed an extra 20-some seconds. Maddie Murphy perched in front, right place, right time, and she knows how to finish. Parks gets it in, in front. Here's the shot. Score! Rutgers scores again off a penalty quarter. Watch the off-ball movement. That spin, that was world class. That's probably one of the best goals she's scored in her career. Airborne ball, it's in. And a goal for Michigan. Faye Kyer gets credit for the ricochet. Yep, so that's why they'll be able to with that aerial. That was amazing to see her balance the ball yeah. on the stick as she's tracing the back line like that. I, I don't imagine there are a lot of players that can do that even at this level. 